G'day guys, welcome to my channel. Got a couple of bags with some batteries in them. Just gonna empty out my main bag because I'm gonna be using all of these. There is a huge sale on guys from banggood.com. Link down below, icon on the screen here. Big sale coming up in the next day or so. I'm gonna run through some drones that you can purchase. Should any of these drones tickle your fancy, now is the time to grab them at a fantastic price. So what I'm going to do is a quick fly of the drone that I'm about to have a chit chat about, and then I'm going to come in and have more of a yarn. Stay tuned guys, if you're after a bargain, like I said, big sale on, big savings, lots of fun. As you just saw folks, the Tyro 109, what an absolute cracker. Build your own. There will be a specific playlist for all these drones that I'm going to be showing here today, so have a look at that playlist below. If you want to look further into these units, I have done lots of flights of these. There's a build video for the 109, and uh, this thing is tough as a Mali ball. A huge 600mm VTX, which is really good. I have the analog version, of course, um, nice little stumpy antenna it comes with, XT60 plug, and I've got the XM Plus receiver, and it all handles environs really well. So, check out the video for the 109. And like I said, this is going at a really good price at the moment. And of course, goes without saying, all of these drones have a specific code for them so that you can save yourself a chunk of cash. Next up, the Tyro 79, the little brother of the 109. This comes pre-assembled, it's a bind and fly. XM Plus receiver, 200 milliwatt VTX. What I really like about this unit is that it's all there. You get two LiPos with it, 653S's, XT30 plug. You've got your radio as well, all bind and fly. There's even a battery inside here as well. Yeah, 200 milliwatt VTX. Uh, 2800 kV motors on this little beauty so she rips along really well I've got some tri-blade props on here this is as tough as nails and you can have a lot of fun with this thing as well either in the backyard or out in the open this is a really popular unit so if you do want to go for this one guys get in pretty quick before they all run out Oh yeah, you better believe it, the Green Hornet. With some aftermarket props on, only to make it a little bit quieter, because if you want to use this thing in a confined space, you need to grab yourself some matching earphones, because this thing is loud. 1550, 4S on the back there, XT60. Little right hand circularizer, lolly on the rear. XM Plus receiver, really, really, really nice range on this guys. Really nice VTX. Super steady. It's got some rubber pads so you can give it a few knocks if you want And of course you've got your GoPro or Osmo action mount at the front there This mount that comes with it can actually do them both. No problem at all I've put some landing feet on mine just to make the uh, landing a bit softer This thing has really good range set up like this guys. So check out the videos I've made of this as I said in the playlist and Really, really good time to buy one of these. These are a hell of a lot of fun. And if you're just getting into the sport, 
yeah, I recommend getting a sign whoop because yeah, they can take a few knocks and they are really, really, really easy to fly. And speaking of little cool crackers, the iFlight A85. This thing here is another one of my favourites and we are really lucky guys that this one is coming up on the sale as well. We've got a 463S on the butt here. Nice props, really smooth to fly. Now this has got the Turtle 800 TVL camera folks which is a really nice camera. Not to mention the added bonus of SD card DVR recording on board. So if you want to capture some nice steady footage and have a terrific flying experience well this is the little one to get XM plus receiver nice little eye fight antenna on the rear there again really robust strong frame lots of spares too if you need it and it's one of my favorites so i'm really pleased that they've included this one in their list of specials so yeah go check it out guys This bad boy needs no introduction at all. Yes, the HG LRC Sector 5 V2 1554S XT60 on the back there. I've got a slightly extended VTX antenna running TBS and Orca Caddx on the front there for my HT DVR 400 milliwatt VTX. It's got a really nice Aurora V2 FP 1200 TVL camera up the front there which as you'll agree uh, looks really sharp i have put some aftermarket azure props on which makes this thing as fast as all heck and you can also see that i've also mounted a gps really easy to do that's in another video coming up sometime very soon massively popular because it is tough and a hell of a lot of fun and definitely not an indoor unit this thing is as fast as fast a really really strong well put together unit and you guessed it who can the diatone tay can this is one of my recent uh, purchases this is a really really fun unit important you also need a set of earmuffs because this one is really really loud however put a forest on the roof there xt30 plug in conjunction with your vista unit should you get it this is the analog one which has the xm plus receiver range fantastic nice little right hand circular fox ear for your vtx on the rear there a really decent little retel mamba camera on the front there 5000 kv motors and 400 milliwatt VTX makes this kit really, really decent, guys. Bind and fly. Just grab yourself some goggles, bind it to your radio, chuck your LiPo on, and you are off and running. There is a mount included too for your GoPro at the front, which, believe it or not, this thing handles really well. And I've actually got a couple more videos of this coming up soon. So the Taycan. Again, if you like your sign whoops, yeah, this one's really, really good for the backyard or out in the open because the range on this is incredible, actually. Really, really incredible how far this VTX will carry. Getting towards the end of my list guys, the E-Chine Shadow Fiend, luckily we've included a long range sub 250 gram little rocket ship here. GPS on the back, nice long range antenna up the rear as well. It's got the really nice Cadex Turbo 
that 1200 TVL cam on the front there. 1404 KV motors. These are built for a long range. Of course I've got the TBS on here. I have done a couple of tests to see how far this goes with the analog VTX setup and it is quite impressive actually. Each one have done a really good job in getting this unit into the long range FPV war. And 300 mm of ETX, so that's going to suit you really well. This thing's a whole lot of fun, guys. Again, check out the videos I've done of this. Um, I do rip around, it's really nice having the GPS for added security. Eshine Shadow Fiend. A sale wouldn't be a sale without including one of the best radios that the FPV game has probably ever seen, the Radio Master T16S. This is the Max Edition, so you get some nice leather on the sides here, a bit of bling. It's got the industrial grade touch screen, which OpenTX is going to release a version for very soon. It's got a menu scroll wheel here which is really nice. The buttons are really easy to use. It feels fabulous in the hand. Nice CNC parts attached to it and as you can see I've got the standard 18650 rechargeable batteries in the back which you don't ever need to remove because Radio Master has thought about this really really well. Put a USB-C port at the bottom there, which is where the SD card is as well. And that's where you go to charge it up. And there's also a USB-C at the top there, along with a headphone jack for your programming, OpenTX, etc. Really lucky it's in the cell, guys. So go check it out. Uh, three versions are available. The carbon, the gold, and the silver. Absolutely love this bit of kit and just while we're talking about the radio master don't forget the jumper t light guys 18 channel fairly new on the market that is a lot cheaper than this it's under 100 australian bucks so if you're looking for something that is equally as impressive but a little bit smaller um smaller easier to take out in the field and certainly a lot cheaper if you're looking at getting into the game and you just want to see whether or not it's going to suit you that would be an excellent option for you so make sure you check out that jumper t light 16 channel hall sensor gimbals on it guys so open tx as well mode 2 for your left hand throttle uh, you can also have your crossfire and it literally does just about all of this does but it's a heck of a lot smaller so check that out guys if you want to spend a little bit less but have equally as good a quality And one of my favorites to last guys yes this is a beta fpv x knight four inch toothpick absolute rocket ship uh, tbs crossfire on it nice little proprietary beta fpv 2.4 gig right hand circularized on the rear there an absolutely fantastic cadex retail 1200 tv or camera up the front there it's got an xt60 on it nice little battery pad on the rear here a couple of straps come with it super tough super strong canopy uh, like most of beta fpv's kit this is really well put together guys really strong it's a plug and play really hassle free absolutely love this thing and it flies an absolute treat it is a rocket ship 1505 3600 kv brushless on here guys Anywhere from 3 to 4S LiPos you're looking at putting on the butt. 4025 HQ props and pumps out 200 milliwatts of VTX power. So with that camera and the TBS, this thing here, you will have an absolute ball with guys. I'm running an 854S underneath. 
lots of spares available folks and trust me you'll have an absolute ball with this super tough super strong and again lucky that this is incorporated in our sale good fun hobby guys if you're looking at getting into the sport now is the time to do it like i said these will not be this price again so now is a fantastic time to buy if you want any help with purchasing these as i said link down below next to all these quads that i've just explained there'll be a coupon code so follow the bouncy ball click on my link that would help me out heaps guys this takes up a fair bit of my time to do this so that would be much appreciated and if you've made it this far thumbs up to you guys you've lasted a long time because this has probably been quite a long video <laughs> again drop me a comment and it's really good to see you lots of new goodies coming up and if you think yes i have far too many quads you're quite right i have promised to do a giveaway so i am going to give a couple of these units away to a loyal follower so Drop me a suggestion, let me know which one you think I should give away out of these eight units I've reviewed here today. I'm going to be selecting the most popular one and I'm going to give that one away with a bit of a competition which is coming up soon. That's it from me, Sky Pilot. See you in the sky. I've talked way too much. See you next time guys. Bye for now.